probably should have gone other ways. Well, let's get up there again. Experience points. Really, that's what it's all for. Ah, oh. <laughs> totally worth it. All right, I'm back. Man, you guys are so quiet in chat. Come on now. No one's talking at all.
I want some talking. Because, man, you guys are trying to keep me awake, not bore me to death. <laughs> Nexus 5. I really want one. But I have to wait until it's on Amazon. Then I'll be picking that up. Man, I haven't, I haven't played 14 before, since before it came out. That's just pretty much been my thing with a lot of MMOs. There's no motivation to go past the first one. <coughs> Just pause. Yeah, like I want to spend twice as much. No, thank you. The whole point of buying on Amazon is that it's a Google Play Store is because it's going to be, I don't have to pay for shipping or for tax. I get money back anyway, too, so it needs to be that way. It's like, screw that. I'm not spending $600 on a phone. Sorry. No reason why I'm not going out there. Too many games to play. I don't care about your crappy Nintendo games. I'm far more interested in games like Guided Fate Paradox, Killzone, Nuzzle Gun. I'm not totally happy about the situation with the PlayStation 4, but it's like, if it's either spend $400 now or, for, or spend $400 in a few months, and right now would be the best time for me to spend that money, because I don't have to worry about other obligations just yet, besides my normal stuff, so that's why I'm more than willing to put the money down. Without a care! Without a care! RPGs. There'll be plenty of RPGs for that system. Bent sword, what?
got PC game in this gen. Why not both? That's what I've been doing for the past several years. PlayStation 3 and PC. Now it's gonna be PlayStation 4 and PC. There's plenty of RPGs coming in 2014 for the PlayStation 4. So I'm not worried. You son of a bitch. Take your Vita. Give it to me. Way too many games on the Vita worth playing. doesn't care about its story. I'd rather play God Eater. And God Eater 2 is on the Vita, so God Eater is more about the story. That's what I care about. I haven't played Fantasy Star Online since back in the Dreamcast days and GameCube days. Fantasy Star Universe was garbage. So it's like I didn't like Fantasy Star Doing? I gotta cast the lightning here. What am I doing? I'm busy talking to you. Much Monster Hunter ripped off from Fantasy Star, but <laughs> when it was first came out, anyway. But 
no, I, I still, no, I, there's nothing really for 3DS that I'm really interested in getting. There's plenty on the Vita, though. That's why I'm going to be picking them up. Gravity Rush was an amazing game. And Soul Sacrifice is free this month, so that's, there you go. RPGs I want to play on Vita. These Memories of Galsetta is going to be coming out. We got Legend of Heroes, Heroes in the Sky's second story, which is, oh my god, really, really want to play. is a good enough reason to buy a Vita. But yeah, I like the idea of just uh, playing on my PS4 and then when I'm in any downtime I can just grind out some levels. I could be watching a movie or something and just be mashing X. <laughs> what do you do? There's a ton of RPGs. I gotta make another one of those lists. Thank you. 
got so much Fight fun. So is it, um, oh my gosh, what was it? So there was the ruby gun. Everything that's good has got feathers, isn't it? And I don't have any of those.
coming back the way I came. <laughs> Just a reminder, this is for the Extra Life Charity Merit uh, Charity that's going along from this. If I could actually sort out what exactly I'm trying to say, is that this is all for charity, and so you should see a link in the title of this stream or in the text below. Donate. You know, help those in need. All donations are tax deductible, so for those that care about that kind of thing and like to report it on your taxes, you'll get money back. Trying to sort out everything with that too. 